The leader of this collective, Kobzar Taras Kompanichenko, carefully selected the repertoire for the concert. In the first part of the concert, the songs were exclusively written using the poems of Taras Shevchenko. He sang the poems he loved, most of which became folk songs dedicated to the struggle for freedom. These works are about national freedom, about the dignity that Shevchenko evoked in his countrymen. If we have no national freedom, we won't be able to buy it with gold or anything. Compared with freedom, gold is just dust, it's nothing. With torn ligaments and a cast on his hand, he played several instruments during the 90-minute performance. He did this, he says, in order to convey to his viewers the importance of eternal values. Taras spoke to the audience from the stage. He's one of those whom we can safely call our founding fathers. It's also safe to say that he loved Ukraine profoundly with all his heart, in all his deeds, and in his words. The second part of the performance was dedicated to the struggle for Ukrainian independence. The epic compositions take on new meaning at a time of Russian aggression. The lyrics are heroic. The songs are from a cycle called Life Without Freedom is Nothing. The collection of songs was written by different authors from the 12th century to today. In their repertoire, the musicians interweave events drawing parallels between past and present. A warrior, a Cossack with a musket, is a representative of the nation. He was part of the coat of arms, like a shepherd from the gospel. He was ready to die to save a lamb, metaphorically speaking. According to the gospel, that's what Christ did. And the Cossacks of our past and present sacrificed their souls and bodies to keep each and every lamb in our national flock from being stolen by an evil wolf in sheep's clothing. The audience was delighted by the sounds and their delivery. The concert was just unbelievable because of the strongly elaborated program and nicely fitting lyrics. I'd very much like more of these concerts, and not only on anniversaries dedicated to our Ukrainian prophet. I've known the band for a long time, Taras and the other members. As always, I had a good time. Words can't do this justice. You have to be present. It's just beautiful. The musicians plan to buy a drone using the money collected at the concert. It will be a donation to the subdivision of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, where their colleague, Vadim Shevchuk, serves as a volunteer. <laughs>